Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of my FX Panthera series. Today, we're going to look at my beautiful customized rifle here in front of me. And I brought along a hunter version, which I'm also going to showcase on today's video. Plus, we're going to look at the new element feels a little bit closer and put it to the test. <laughs> what a beautiful shot, 142 yards. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Straight down. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. All right, so let's speak about my gun setup here quickly. It's the FX Panthera 22 caliber in the 700 millimeter version. Inside this barrel, I've got a 1 in 16 twist superior heavy slug liner. I'm shooting the 34 grain H&N heavy slugs today at 1,017 feet per second average here i fitted the new aftermarket saber tactical arco swiss rail got mdt weights to give it some extra weight underneath the rail i've got an acutech bipod i've got the warrior tactical plate from three percent tactical i've got a vertical mdt grip a new trigger blade from the guys from air marksman i also fitted a 300 cc 300 bar bottle also from the guys from air marksman Oh, oh, oh my word wow 184 yards oh what a beaut headshot 140 yards on the mark Matt. <laughs> Don't you just love that sound? Starling going down. One thirty four. Absolutely no chance. 140 yards on the mark. Beautiful. Another 140. The whole gun has been laser engraved at the shooting shop in the Netherlands by myself, my Thane Beckerman and Niels. My thoughts behind, you know, making the gun like this was I wanted to dedicate this whole gun and the theme to one of my all-time favorite heroes and that's obviously Chris Kyle. 
from the front you will see the American stars here on the shroud uh, we've got this word here the Punisher with the American flag to it on top of my element Theos you will see the Punisher skull also laser engraved with the number three marking on the side scope cap here you will see there is a marking here that says the 2nd of the 2nd 2013 and this is unfortunately the day that he passed away then we have the little symbol for the frog foundation if you guys do not know what the frog foundation is uh, definitely go check that out i'll leave a link for you guys at the bottom in the description at the back here i've got the seal team 3 also laser engraved with the navy seal logo also underneath here on the filler cap the initials of chris kyle also laser engraved oh <laughs> done and done What a beaut! <laughs> Perfect! Down he goes, a long way to fall to the bottom. Just too easy. Too easy, another one down, 134. The new Element Theos is a 6 to 36 by 56 first focal plane scope and it comes in a beautiful dark silver color. The scope has a elevation rotation indicator so that you can keep track of your elevation dial and the Windy's turret is also now capped to protect it from accidental dialing. The Theos has a push button on the side of the parallax wheel to activate the illumination function on the reticle. The objective lens in the front is 56 millimeters and the glass is really, really good. For me, the two most important parts on the scope is the glass and the ability to keep it zero. And that is something that I want to test. Oh, you got dressed. <laughs> Smoke that one. 165 yards. What a beaut! What a beaut! Ho oh, ho! Gonzo! Smoked.
Now I know if I really want to test how well the Element Theos has been built, I've got to mount it on a very big gun. So I flew over to the Netherlands and met up with two of my good friends, Martijn and Niels. Over there we got together and we got the good old faithful 50 caliber Barrett and we made our way down to the shooting range for a little bit of testing. So I'm down here at the shooting range and what I have done is I've taken the Panthera, put the Element Theos on top of it, then I zeroed it at 100, the best I can, and then I've took off the scope from the Panthera and put it onto this Barrett over here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take three shots and take it from the Barrett, put it back into the Panthera, and we're going to see if it's going to hold the zero. Fun test, just to see the agility of the Element Theos. Let's check it out. <coughs> Go. Right, yes. We are live. That never gets old. Whew, a lot of smoke down here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take off that scope, put it back on the Panthera and see if it holds a zero. I've got a orange sticker down there on the target and I'm going to aim for that sticker and let's see if we can get close to the sticker. I've got a couple of slugs in here, H&N slugs. Right. Bolt close. Let's put up the magnification a bit here. 36. Five. <laughs> and I can tell you that that's less, I think, than half a mil to the right. Elevation is perfect. Guys, there's no denying that was my aiming point there. This is why I shot my five shots. Now, if you look at my thumbnail, it is like literally like a half a thumb to the right from where I aimed. I think I've proven my point taking that scope putting it on the biggest gun that I can find, shooting it, putting it back onto an air gun, and it still keeps it zero like that. No denying that the element range of scopes is tip top and working on par. Thanks again for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.